guys, it's Kayla, and today I'm going to be doing a Snapchat Q&A video. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions through Snapchat. I have quite a few Snapchat videos to go through, and I can't wait to see all of your beautiful faces and answer your questions, and yeah, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So let's just get started. I'm going to try to get to as many as possible. Would you rather throw out all your pocketbacks or throw out all your lip balms? So would I rather throw away all my pocketbacks or all of my lip balms? Okay, so if I'm being 100% honest, that's like the hardest question ever. I'd say that I would rather throw away my lip balm collection just because I have literally spent so many years trying to get all of the different pocketbacks, like all the rare ones, and I've definitely spent more money on my pocketback collection. I feel like I just put way too much effort into that collection to throw them away. Aww. My favorite EOS lip balm would definitely have to be Sweet Mint. This has been my favorite for a really long time. I just love that it gives your lips like this tingly sensation. Plus, I just love mint in general and this is extremely moisturizing. Here's my question for your Q&A. I was wondering what is your favorite fine fragrance mist that you own from Bath & Body Works? Bye, I love you! I love you too. And my favorite fine fragrance mist would probably have to be... That's really hard. I'm gonna have to go with the Sexy Dahlia Rush Fine Fragrance Mist. The bottle that I have of it is literally like more than halfway gone now. It's Hannah. What do you like more, pocket bags or lip balm? By the way, I love your YouTube channel and I love you so much. Thank you so much, Hannah. You're so sweet. But I'd say that I probably like. <sighs> That's really hard. Today I'm gonna say I like lip balm better. Okay, this question comes from Caitlin. Let's see what she wants to know. If I could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? That's a really tough question. Honestly, I love living in Pennsylvania because all my family is here and I love the different season changes, but if I had to pick somewhere else, I'd probably say Florida because I love the warm weather and Disney World is there, um, there's palm trees. How old were you when you started collecting pocketbacks and lippies? How old was I when I started collecting pocketbacks and lippies? Well, I started collecting pocketbacks when I was 12, and I started getting more into lippies whenever I was 13, I believe, because I remember when I was 13, I got my first EOS, then I started collecting EOS. Then I collected baby lips, then lip smackers, and then I just collected all different types of lip balm. Hey Kayla, I was wondering, what's the most amount of money you've ever spent on a pocket bag? By the way, I love you so much. Oh, I love you too, Allison. The most amount of money I've ever spent on a pocket bag. Okay, so the most amount of money I've ever spent on a single pocket bag was $50. And I know everyone's probably thinking that I'm insane right now, but I'm telling you, when you're a collector and you need a pocket bag, you don't, like the price, you don't even look at the price. It's just like... When you are so close to having all of them, you'll literally pretty much spend anything. I mean, not anything, but close to anything. So it was $50, and it was for this pocket bag called Shopaholic in Tropical Fruit, a.k.a. Rebecca Waddlestone, if you guys follow my spam account. Hi, Kayla. This is Gibbous. I was wondering, what are your birds' names? I'm a huge fan of your Instagram and YouTube. Thank you. Uh, that was funny. Okay, so my birds' names. Well, okay, so I have 10 right now, and their names are Tweets, Sweets, Freddy, Zippity Duda, Summer, Kiwi, Lemon Drop, Mackenzie, Skittles, and Woodstock. Yes! This next question comes from Dana. Let's see what Dana wants to know. Is, what's your favorite rare pop back and Revo? And by the way, I love you so much, and you made me start collecting, so thank you. Aw, thank you so much. Revo would be Black Cat Cherry. Pocket Bag would be Shopaholic Tropical Fruit. How many pocket bags do you have? So Haley wants to know how many pocket bags I have. Okay, so as far as like different scents, like one of each, I have, I counted yesterday, I have 899. One away from 900. It's crazy. But with duplicates too, I would say I have roughly around 1,300. I've sold a lot of them, so the number has definitely gone down, but I'd say that's about how many I have. Revo or Lip Smacker? 
I'm gonna have to go with lip smackers. I love you so much. I love your YouTube channel. And you if too. you had one lippy um, that you can pick out of your collection, what would it be and why? Love you. Okay. Okay, so if I had to pick one lippy out of my collection, that's it. Oh, that's really hard. I have to let this one process for a while, honestly. Okay, so no surprise I picked the unicorn. It's not that I, like, have a thing for unicorns. I mean, they are pretty awesome. But I would pick this unicorn BB Bart tune in Birthday Cake because for some reason it just makes me happy. It doesn't even come with that much product. I mean, it comes with a decent amount of product. I just... There's something about it. It smells like strawberry cake mix and it makes me happy. So I go with the... Unicorn BB Bart tune in Birthday Cake. When I get older, are you ever going to stop collecting lip balms or pocket backs? So Maya wants to know if when I get older, am I going to stop collecting lippies and pocket backs? And honestly, I mean, unless I want to stop, I'm not going to stop because there's no reason why I would have to. I mean, eventually I might just grow out of them and not really want to collect them anymore, but until that happens, I'm not going to stop just based off of my age or anything like that because, I mean, lip balms are for anybody, and same with pocketbacks, you know what I mean? There's not like an age limit, and if it makes me happy, then I say why not. So now I'm going to be answering just some like general questions that I got from you guys on my Instagram account, so I wanted to do some Snapchat questions and then also some Instagram ones. Abby wants to know, if I had $2,000 to spend, what would I spend it on? I would definitely say lippies, clothes, and makeup, and I would also do a bunch of online shopping. Marla from Instagram wants to know, how old were you when you made your first YouTube video ever? So actually, I was 10 years old when I made my first YouTube video and posted it. It was a video of my squishy collection, and I just remember rambling about how many I had and just kind of like going through the different rows. I had all of them lined up in my living room. Someone would like to know what my favorite lip balm brand is. And I would probably have to go with Lip Smacker. I love Lip Smackers because of just the variety you have to choose from. Like there are so many different flavors and they have such a big history too. And also my own lippy brand, Lipsess, of course. And I didn't talk to you guys about this yet because I've been waiting until I'm 100% satisfied with the formulation and packaging and everything for my lip balms. But um, I've actually started making my very own lip balms and the brand is called Lipsessed. So I have a little bag right here of some of them. So some of the labels I've actually made by hand, such as Crazy for Cake Batter. And I actually have over 40 different flavors made right now and eventually I'm going to get a website for them. But if you would like to check them out and order some for yourself, you can find them on eBay. Just look up Lipsessed Lip Balm. That's where I'm selling them right now. But I'm definitely going to make a website for them once I keep working on the packaging and um, getting them to be exactly how I want them. I mean, they're great right now, but I just want to make them as great as they can possibly be. Emma from Instagram wants to know what three things in life make me the happiest and okay so if I had to think of my three favorite things right now I would say lip balm, dancing, and food. Miranda wants to know what the scariest thing that ever happened to me was and it's actually kind of more recent if I had to think of the scariest thing that's happened to me more recently Okay, so basically, I was at this water park with my friend, and for some reason that day, I was just feeling, like, very anxious. I was kind of, like, stressed out, and I was just anxious. So anyway, we were in the wave pool, and we were just talking, and I didn't realize how deep we were actually getting into the water. Um, and there weren't really many waves whenever we were talking, it was just kind of like very mild. And then all of a sudden, um, we started getting deeper into the water, um, probably around six, six feet of water, and the waves started getting like harder and harder and bigger and bigger. And... Um, like I said, I was in a very anxious mood to begin with, and for some reason this really freaked me out, like all these big waves, and I realized, oh my god, we're in six feet of water, and for some reason the thought of that really scared me that my feet couldn't touch the bottom anymore, and so I, I started like hyperventilating, and I, I was just like, oh, I probably looked so stupid. Ugh. I didn't know what to do with myself. I, I was like gasping for air and, and just like 
trying my best to get to the more shallow side because the thought of just being in deep water was freaking me out so much. I remember my friend asking me if I was okay and I was making these like whale noises. I was like, uh, 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 uh. I, that sounds really weird, but that's literally what I sounded like. And it was so scary because I literally felt like I was like drowning and I'll never forget that. And I was like shaking for 20 minutes after. I, I actually thought that I was gonna die that day. All right, guys, so those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering for today. I hope that you all enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and hit the subscribe button down below if you would like to see future uploads from me. But I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!